Uh, in this session, we'll see some of the MCQs, which are based on these advanced related to the competitive examination about the advanced technical training related to the traffic engineering. So those which part we have completed in the last four lectures, uh, that is the uh, you know, traffic volume study, again, traffic operations, again uh, manual counting method again PIEV theory PCU units so based on this we'll see some of the MCQs and after this completion of this MCQs we'll stop here for this um, entity program about the traffic engineering and control so let us see some of the MCQs here first MCQ is what is the first target or uh, what is the first stage in traffic engineering studies so first option is the traffic volume studies. Second one is the spot speed studies. Third one is the speed and delay study. And last one is the origin and destination studies. So what is the answer? Anyone can please tell me what is the first stage in traffic engineering studies? Traffic volume studies, spot speed studies, speed and the delay studies, and the origin and the destination studies. So first, which study we have to do in this traffic engineering first? Anyone can please tell me the answer, which uh, study is very important, whether sport speed study or the speed and delay study, origin and the destination study. Okay, which study is very important? Anyone can please? So uh, we'll, I will uh, discuss with you that is the, uh, what is the traffic volume study, that traffic volume study, why it is necessary. So from this traffic study, we'll analyze, we can analyze the data, we can interpret the data, we can analyze the, uh, this uh, transfer traffic engineering studies with the, uh, with the interpretation and the analysis. So for that purpose, the first stage of this traffic engineering study is nothing but it is a one of the traffic volume study. Sport speed study The sport speed study is nothing but the instantaneous speed of the vehicles. At every point, we can calculate the vehicle speed. That is the sport speed study. What is the speed and the delay study? The delay study and the speed study means due to some of the disturbance during the journey, how that journey is delayed, how that delay speed as well as the that journey becomes delay. So that part will be come here. And last one is the origin and destination study. Means starting uh, the journey of that, uh, starting the journey is nothing but the origin and the end of the journey, that is the destination. So most important point uh, at the traffic engineering studies at starting stage is here, that is the option number one. So that is the traffic volume studies. So answer of this first question is that, that is the traffic volume studies. Okay, we'll move towards the next point. That is the traffic volume is usually expressed in, in last lecture only I have told you that, that uh, traffic density, we, if you want to calculate or the traffic volume, if you want to calculate, for that purposes, we have to convert mixed vehicle uh, into one vehicle. And for that purpose, we required one unit and that unit is nothing but if you want anyone can please tell me the answer which unit is there that unit is nothing but a please give me response mulani bosle vaishnavi that unit is nothing but a pcu unit that is the passenger car unit means now uh, we can convert all the vehicles into one unit by using the units, by using the number from this PCU, that is the passenger car unit. That is the second answer about the question, that is the PCU. Third one, the uh, third is question is that the number of vehicles that pass through a traverse, traverse line of road at a given time in a specific, in a specific direction is called means the number of vehicles that pass through a traverse line 
of a road at a given time in a specific direction means number of vehicles which are moving on a road in a specific direction is known as what is is known as traffic studies option number 1 traffic studies option number 2 that is the traffic flow option number 3 is traffic origin and last one is the traffic destination means which answer will be come here it it indicates as a traffic flow what traffic flow indicates means this number of vehicles are passing on the in a transverse line of road so means it indicates as a one traffic flow okay so answer number is a b option that is the traffic flow for the question number 3 so we'll move towards the next question that is the fourth question that is of the traffic flow only so what is the traffic flow it is a static or the dynamic or whether it is static and dynamic so the traffic flow is a dynamic characteristics why the traffic madhe kay asnar hai there are the number of forces are acting that are the dynamic forces and so that this is a flow is come under the dynamic situation so that is the option number second for the dynamic the traffic flow is a dynamic what is the first objective of traffic volume studies means first objective or first volume study, objective of the traffic volume study for what purposes we have to do this traffic volume study so we we'll see here what are the options are here one is the to decide the priority for improvement of roads for geometric design for computing roadway capacity and to plan the traffic operation means from these all options very most important point is here that is to decide the priority for the improvement of the roads so that is the most important point here so the option number 1 is the correct answer for the question number 5 next sixth question is here pedestrian data is used for planning dash 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 means uh, you understand here about the road component so in the road component uh, pedestrians are walk from which road from the uh, sidewalk and the crosswalk so directly answer will be come here as a answer number b option over here okay coming towards the next question that is the question number 7 which of the following method is most accurate method for the traffic analysis anyone can please tell me the answer it is very most and the simple question is here which methods are used up manual counting method or the automatic counting method average or manual counting or the automatic counting and the past record so which uh, answer is the correct answer so we have to analyze we have to collect the accurate traffic analysis so for that purpose we have to go for the automatic counting method so option number b is the correct for the question number 7 now coming towards the next question that is the question number 8 that the outgoing and incoming traffic are counted at <clears throat> so outgoing and the incoming traffic are counted at which condition first option is the traffic intersection second option is the highway third is the urban roads and last one is the traffic symbols so which one is the answer from this so outgoing and the incoming means incoming and the outgoing traffic are counted at which condition there are the intersection of the road so at that time only incoming and the outgoing vehicles will be over there so our option number a is there for the question number 8 so we'll move towards the next question that is the question number 9 there is the the traffic that is prepared based on the 365 days of the year is called as means it is a uh, already we know that traffic is uh, traffic analysis has been made for the daily for the weekly for hourly and for the yearly so there is a days they have given means this is a 365 days are given means it, it is uh, considered as a annually means annually average daily traffic means annually uh, annually average daily traffic they have mentioned here so option number b is of here for this uh, question number 9 and the last question is here this is question number 10 that indicates the chart showing the variation of traffic is called as means variation of traffic means you uh, already uh, if we have studied about this then already we will get the idea that at the morning and the afternoon and the evening there is a traffic variation is there so that chart also indicates the variation chart so it known as the variation chart of the traffic so that is the chart showing the variation of the traffic is called as a variation chart 
So in this way, we have completed some of the MCQs, which are very important MCQs about this um, traffic studies related to the PC unit, okay, and related to the objectives and the outcomes about the traffic survey. So this much part we have completed here. So in this way, whatever the related to the that help to that whatever the part we have completed here that will be helpful to you for your competitive examination. So I am thankful to you for attending such a nice sessions, okay, for the traffic engineering and control. So thank you all. Now I will stop here for a stop share. I will stop the sharing. I will share whatever the link, whatever I have completed in this um, uh, lectures only whatever the links I would provide you, whatever the um, PPTs I have read, that PPTs I would provide you and whatever the MCQs also I have, um, uh, I have prepared, that is also I will share with you. So thank you all and I will declare here the today's session is completed here. Thank you. And this meeting is over here.